All right, so I'm going to show you how to put nylon strings on your banjo. It's literally a piece of wood with five holes drilled in it. And uh, what I'm going to do is take the end that's not colored, because I like the colored end on the, on the tailpiece side, and I'm going to stick that in the top hole. Kind of, I kind of bend it a little bit first so that when I stick it down in there it's it might just uh it might just come out the side without me having to do too much grabbing and once i have it through the tailpiece i just push it can grab the end and i'm just gonna bring this all the way down to my headstock which you can't see but basically i'm gonna leave i don't know what's that two inches you want to take this loop this end the short end Hold the long end and, and, and loop that around. So all I've done is long end, taking the short end, here's the end, put it around the string and then held it back. So if you can see that, that's cool. If not, well, then my video sucks. Here, I'll do this with needle nose so you can see. So basically I got that loop. It's just a loop, it's nothing yet, look, it's just, the loop it's just around it and I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers here because I got fat fingers put it underneath once grab the end so that's what I got now looped around there twice and nice and snug okay I don't know if that really helps you out it's hard to focus with this there we go I just stick it in the top there. Usually I put a little bend in there, hoping that uh, it'll come out without me having to grab it. So just put a little bend, something like that. Stick it in there, wiggle it around until you can get it to come out and see it so you can grab the end. And the cat's playing with the string. Right, so now I got it through that hole. You can see, I'm gonna grab this end, pull it through until, like I said, I have about uh, two inches sticking out here, like that, something like that long. It's just made a loop around, and then I'm gonna take it and um, I'm gonna go underneath this this piece right here. And back up towards the end of the tail piece. Sorry, it's hard to film and do this. And then again, and do the same thing. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Again, so I'm just coming around. It's literally just a loop and and then two two arounds. Then I want to pull, let's see, this loop as close as I can to the bottom of this tail piece. You can see I didn't get these ones that far, but you can see what I'm trying to get to. And then what's gonna happen is the tension of the, st the string that comes out to the end of the head, to the head saw is gonna, is gonna pinch this real nice and hard against the top. And then it's not gonna come out. Plus then you're not putting any weird kinks or, or super tight knots on the string, uh, which can make a weak spot. Now I'll show you next how I tie at the top. I'm going to stick this string through just as simple as could be, like you would with any other one. And it's hard to see, but oh, shit. I'll show you right after this. Basically, you want to be f about four inches above the tenth fret when you pull up on the string. I'll show you later. So then what you want to do is loop back around and go through the same way you went through the first time. Okay. And then all you're gonna do is put this end up through the bottom of this little circle we've made and uh, pull it tight and uh, tighten it up. It's that, 
Oh, it's that simple, folks. That was just my bridge flopping over. It's that simple. I went through. I'm going to pull this back and go through the same way again. And grab the end when I when it goes through. Okay. Now when I got this, I'm going to take the end, this end, put it up and through the loop that I made, and then pull on this side, the long side of the string, and make a nice little knot. Well, I hope that helped you out a little bit. I'm tired now. I'm going to go to bed. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.